There's something I just don't get. What is it? The crown contest itself has always gone ahead as planned, right? In which case, the current sovereign of Rena should be whoever it was that won the previous contest. Yeah, that makes sense. So, who was it then? Hanfreaked Milgroth, the former lord of Cislodia, if memory serves. So then this Hanfreaked whatchamacallim, he's the current ruler of Rena? The last I heard, yes. Though, admittedly, I haven't actually seen him since the end of the previous contest. You're saying that ever since becoming Sovereign, he's never actually shown himself on Lenegus? I guess over Holocom, maybe, but not in the flesh. Same thing goes for the Sovereign that came before him. Now that you mention it, I don't recall anyone ever visiting Lenegus from the Motherland, Sovereign or otherwise. And that never struck you as a little bit... odd? <sighs> when you live here, it's as if you're conditioned not to notice all these strange quirks and discrepancies. The question is then, by whom? And to what end? A new Renis Alma is supposedly created to coincide with every crown contest, meaning each victor is awarded their very own. In other words, if that's true, there should be as many of the things out there as there have been contests. True, but going on what we witnessed in Pelegian, it didn't look like the sort of thing that could be made to order. But... You and me both. Though we are Renin by blood, neither of us even knew that such a thing as a Dark Master Core existed, remember? With any luck, the Forbidden Zone might give us some answers. No use standing around here chatting about it, then. Isn't that the person that Avakir guy Shh. was? But why are you here? Wait, don't tell me you've given up on the crown contest and come crawling back home from Dana already. Nothing to say? Even though you were willing to kill Tarnigan to secure your position as Lord, you still... Kill? I'm here to take care of something. If you wish to continue this conversation, I only ask that you wait until I'm finished. Oh, of course. You always did prefer to take the coward's way out. Even after seven years and living on that Danon rock, you haven't changed one bit. But let me tell you, I haven't changed either. Not a day's gone by the past seven years that I haven't hated you. If killing me will bring you peace, then so be it. <laughs> Dohalim, what the hell are you saying? First, I have business to take care of. If it's vengeance you seek, I will grant you it. But you must wait. My sins are legion. Let me finish what I came to do. Then you have my word. I will let you do whatever brings you peace. Sure, that's it. Run away like always. You don't even have the courage to die. No wonder you leave it to someone else! You're just a coward! Dohalim. I apologize that you had to witness that. Is it true? What she said about you killing someone? Each of us have our pasts. I am no exception. Before, back in Menencia, you mentioned having taken a friend's life over the throne. Is that what she meant? The mistakes I made there were not my first, and may not be my last. I will say no more. Did you mean what you said? About letting her take your life if she wanted to? She has more right to my life than anyone. But you can't just... Whatever happens, 
I have sworn to put an end to the Crown Contest, and to ensure continued coexistence in Menencia. I have no intention of expiring before I do so. There are far too many questions I still seek answers to. Besides, you have just as much reason to kill me as she does. <laughs> Dohalim! Forgive me. Some things are best left unsaid. Yeah, it must be some sort of rest and leisure area for the locals. You think? Man, these Renin sure know how to live it up, don't they? <sighs> it, is something the matter, Dohalim? Before I went down to Dana, my friends and I, we... We used to gather at this very spot and play music together. Avakir, Faria, and Tarnigan. <laughs> That was a lifetime ago now. Tarnigan. He was the one that Faria mentioned, right? He was once my dearest, closest friend. <sighs> as well as Faria's betrothed. <sighs> Despite Faria's lower class upbringing, she possesses a tremendous talent for music. Entranced by her playing, I helped her overcome her sense of inferiority, and introduced her to Tarnigan and Avakir. It was a time of great joy. Four people bound only by their love of music, with no care for social standing. Only the next song, the next melody. A friendship based on mutual respect in a society where everyone is a prisoner to their social class. You really are different, Dohalim. I suppose it's natural you would see it as strange. I would have, once. Now, I think the idea of breaking away from society's constraints and choosing your friends based solely on affection is something beautiful that's worth cherishing. Besides, it was that way of looking at the world that laid the foundations for coexistence in Menencia. Your praise does me too great an honor. I was merely following the wishes of my own heart. And even then, it only lasted until the crown contest began. After that, Tarnigan and I became fierce competitors for the position of Lord. Tarnigan had fallen for Faria. By becoming Lord, he aimed to wrest her from her humble origins and raise her to the highest echelons of society. But fate was not so benevolent. What happened? Tarnigan was no match for me in combat. On a level playing field, he wouldn't have stood a chance. But he was desperate and low on options, and he couldn't stand the thought of defeat. You mean he resorted to dirty tactics to try to win, right? But then why does Faria think... Wait, don't tell me she doesn't know. 
How could I tell her? Combined with the trauma of losing her beloved, and by her friend's hand, no less, she would have been devastated. So instead you let her go on hating you, so she could use that hate as a crutch for her grief? <laughs> That's not the same as running away, though. It is exactly the same. Unable to face the loss of my friend and the burden of my duty, instead I decried my fate and looked away from what I'd done. As for what happened after, that you already know. But if you hadn't become Lord, Menencia wouldn't be what it is now. The Danans there would still be suffering under Renan oppression like before. <sighs> Shion's right. What other Lord would have treated me as you did? Anyone else and I would have been dead long ago. You've saved so many people, Dohalim. You saved me. It's thanks to you that I'm here today. So, try not to blame yourself. The burden you've placed on your own shoulders is too much for anyone to bear. Frank as always. But, I shall do my best to heed your advice. Do you think he'll be all right? Yeah, I think so. He's got Kisara. It's important to have someone like that. I didn't realize how difficult it is just to be there for someone. Sometimes just knowing someone's on your side can be enough. And he knows, Xion. I promise he does. I hope you're right. Yeah? I never appreciated until recently just how much you were always there to support me. It goes both ways. You've helped me keep going more times than I can count. Maybe. I still wanted to say thank you. I see a medic and supply officer over there. If they know you're with me, they'll likely offer their assistance. 